What everybody? All right, so first of all, my name is Marcus, and I'm restoring an old bass boat. This is an 83 Procraft. And uh, I was trying to figure out what to do for a first YouTube video or a YouTube build because I just restore a bunch of random crap all the time. I bought a bass boat and I kind of already started before I thought of you guys, but I'm going to show you guys from here on out what I'm doing detail by detail. Right now, I'm just going to make a video of like an overall uh, vision, game plan, what's going to happen, and then stay tuned for the whole thing because... In the comments, I want you guys to tell me, you know, like, what parts of the boat you want to actually see me do in detail. And I will show you um, how I make my own things, and I'll show you guys later on in this video my vision, my plan for what I'm going to fab out, what I'm going to restore, what I'm going to leave, what I'm going to take away. Let's go! Alright, so first things first, I'm going to do like a full walk around of the boat, as you can see. It's all torn up. Now... So I pulled everything out. I pulled off all the... Oh, I just got the goo gone crap on me. All right, so I pulled everything out. Right here in the middle, it was a completely plywood. Of the, I'm pretty sure it was treated plywood, but it was like the little chunks. Now, when they were storing this boat, um, they never kept it in an up position. So that every time they used it, every time it got wet, any time it rained, any time it got back from the lake we parked it on a level surface so that the water sat inside and pretty much all this wood rotted fell apart came, fell into pieces um, the entire back of the boat was covered in um, in little pieces of rotten wood and uh, I'm gonna show you guys my vision for it kind of do a full walk around and you'll see what I've done what I'm going to do and the plan I think what I'm going to do is first of all start off from the front of the boat. Um, I don't need a new winch, pretty decent. Um, I'm going to get a new jack for the trailer because I'm going to take, to take this one off. My tailgate actually hits it when this is up. Uh, I'm going to kind of restore the whole trailer. I'm going to put new lights, uh, fix this fender right here as you can see. It's kind of loose. And uh, anyways, start from the front. Alright, so here you can see that I got a uh, little gap here so I'm gonna have to make a plate for the back of that I'm gonna actually reuse the same hook here I've already pulled out all this wiring that was in this front panel here all I'm gonna leave is my powers for my trolling motor and um, I don't know if I'm gonna leave this connection I might redo it I might get a different one I don't really know yet um, definitely leave a cup holder because I like cold drinks and um, for the most part, it's all going to be pretty simple, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, LED lights on the boxes, new carpet all around, fix the live well. Um, I have, as you can see here, the live well here um, was bad. So I yanked it out, putting in new hoses, putting in new pump, and that's that for that. Now coming around here, I'm going to actually do lights all around one maybe two on this side in here i'm gonna have this compartment i think it was either for fishing poles or something i don't know but i'm gonna use it for rods and life jacket and stuff like that because it's pretty much the biggest compartment i have either that or i was gonna make the floor come up still haven't decided because on the floor i want to do i don't want to put wood i want to just make an aluminum uh, aluminum frame running across and like this and then on top of that I'm gonna put a piece of sheet metal so that no more softness no more rut no more rotting of wood no more uh, water damages and stuff like that no more wood on this boat that way no more debris gets stuck in the drain hole anyways long story short get rid of all the wood and fix the floor here you can see I've already pulled the tank. Um, here's my wires for my here's my wires for my trolling motor, and then uh, I'm gonna have my two double batteries right here for the 24 volt. 24 volt. Do, 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 do. Coming around the back, pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna need new carpet, new uh, new wiring all around. 
Um, I had to pull the tank out because you see this hose right here. Let me see if you can see. So this hose right here. Um, I had to replace a new one. That's the one that goes to the live well. When I just bought the boat, I wanted to see if it had any holes in it. So we put it in the water. Next thing you know, this thing was filling up like all the way up and like within 10 minutes. So brought it back, drained it, and figured out that they were replacing the hose for the rear live well. Didn't have a long enough hose or, or couldn't disconnect the hose because it was underneath the gas tank. So they just left it. And I don't know if they were just expecting water to just come out when they when they drive or when they ride. But it was open. <laughs> it was like a hole in the back of the boat and they just they went along with it. So um, new hoses. Probably, I'm going to rewire the whole thing. Took apart the dash. I'm going to pull all of this out. Here, let me put the camera this way. So I'm going to do all new gauges. All new wiring there was a whole clump of wires here and um, here I'm gonna put I'm gonna reuse all the seats and everything like that but for the most part internals are all gonna be new new wires new gauges I'm gonna go with the GPS gauge and I'm gonna do a, a switch panel here for my aerator pump my bilge pumps and then my live well lights boat lights and then probably something else i don't know but i want to have a few extra switches just in case i want to think of more lights i love lights but other than that it's pretty basic pretty self-explanatory um i was going to have a light up front but i think what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to buy the red and green lights that go underneath i'm going to buy four of them so that i can have one that goes underneath when the when the boat is up and you're popping wheelies being all cool or uh and then another set right here so that's the plan for the boat so here's the panels that i pulled off here's an old uh i think it's an old fish finder i don't really know honestly this is my first boat so i don't really know much of these details this is all the wiring i've yanked out looks like we got an old fuse box hooked up to old gauges old toggle switches um, I am going to pretty much take these all apart and I am going to outline them and I'm gonna make these out of metal same as the speedo I'm gonna pull this all apart I'm probably gonna put the fuel here that way I have it in front of me and I'm gonna save the room for this this section I'm gonna pull this I'm gonna pull that I'm gonna have one of these is gonna be just a I haven't decided exactly what side one of these is going to be just a toggle switch, a uh, voltmeter, and USB charger. This was from the front, the front of the boat where you had the connection of the trolley motor. I think what I'm going to do on here is pretty much make my own panel again. I'm going to make this out of maybe a 22 gauge metal and i am going to make my own panel here i'm going to insert a trawling motor i'm going to take it out of here put it in here or i might leave it i don't know yet i'm going to go along and figure it out as i go and you guys are going to kind of just watch me screw this boat up so it's a little bit early in the morning so it's harder to see but i want to so if you can hear this that is how rough this paint is uh, or the gel coat and now there's a section here that I buffed out and um, all I did was I cut it and did a little bit of polishing and uh, this is what it did I mean it is just it's obviously flawed but man this thing just polishes out neat so hopefully once I yank everything once I clean up all the carpet goo I'm gonna go over this whole boat I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna polish it and hopefully we can bring back as much color as possible because that is gonna be epic. When it comes to the motor, there's really not much that I hope. So what's gonna happen is that I already pulled off the lower unit because the lower unit had a crack in it. The guys left it probably for the winter. Water got inside and they uh, it froze, expanded, cracked the bottom of the lower unit. 
So top unit spins, it's got compression. I don't know, I haven't started it. I hope it works. Um, other than that, the tilt works. So some of the stuff works. I can't get the starter to engage just yet. So I will do all that once I'm doing all the wiring. But worst case scenario, if I can't get this motor to work, I'll try to find something else. If I can't, then I'm just gonna have to sell the boat, redone, restore. So worst case scenario, I'm gonna come out on top anyways. So I don't really care too much. I picked this thing up for a really good price. So I know I'm gonna make money off it either way, but I wanna show you guys how to do it. So I think that's gonna pretty much conclude my initial introduction video of this project. Um, if there's something you wanna see specifically, I was going to wait until I finished the boat more, but I know there's gonna be some questions about how I'm gonna do things, um, things that you might want me to record in detail, what I do, how I make them. So, got any questions, comment about it. I'll try to implement them in the, into the next video.